All right, the map is Forsaken Lands, and uh, these are the bonuses, four, two, five, three, five, three, and five, and we're the red player, fourth in the turn order out of five. And there are three blizzards, one here, one here, and one here. These two blizzards make this into a one, two, three point hold for this plus five, and this blizzard makes this into a one, two, three point hold for this plus three. You hold all of this, it becomes a one, two, three point hold for both bonuses, which is a plus eight, really strong. Over here, this blizzard makes this into a one point hold for this plus two right here. I think purple's going for something over here. This bonus right here, and this one, and this one, they're all plus uh, fives. No, this is plus four. But they're all naturally five-point holds for uh, protecting themselves. I think this one as well is a five-point hold. So either white or magenta goes for this. I think I'm one of the stronger players for this overpowered bonus down here, if I can get it. I think magenta wants this one next to me is not great. They're fairly strong over there, but they have to worry about this green four. If I can somehow beat them for this bonus, then I'm in a very strong position. Four troops for us is fantastic. I'm gonna stack them right here, and I'm gonna attack this for an easy card right here. The white player is obviously going for what they're the strongest at, this right here. They'll push through these five troops of magenta, which does weaken them up. This four of ours, it occurs to me, I can next turn use to hit this and four or five over there. The round one bonus for plus two is very strong for the white player, and it's a one point hold as well. They had the best start. Myself and magenta are kind of tied for the next best start. If magenta and I work together and uh, just play buddy buddy, you know, I get a plus five, they get a plus three, and you know, we chill and get along, could be good. Or I kind of chill out and wait and don't rush to take mine too quickly, and then they waste a bunch of troops hitting this four and then this four. Although it occurs to me um, that the white player might try to like fortify, like attack out here and fortify out of this, out of their way. I don't want them to do that. I want that four to stay there. So maybe next turn I stack my three troops on this six, hit this, and then fortify these over to there. Kind of pin that four into this region. Green's moving over to here. Green wants this uh, plus four dragon land. That's a dangerous play considering they have a one point hold down here that's gonna wanna have to attack through you, right? I'm gonna hit that four first. Save the trouble. No, you're over there. I don't like that you only lost two. You are down to 21 troops. 20 now, actually. Do I wanna hit that two? Yeah, I want that four to stay there. I'm gonna put these right here. We're gonna hit like this. Does it occur to me that you could actually fortify down into mine? I've got a four in the way. You probably won't wanna attack that. I'll fortify this five over into here. That way, your four won't be inclined to attack down to, to my one behind there to get away from that. I want you to be in a situation where you either ignore that four and Magenta has to attack out of the way, or it's um, you're gonna attack that two because it's weaker than my four or my five, hopefully. And the plan worked exactly as we were hoping. I suspected there's a chance you'd make it easier for Magenta to get that, and I didn't want that to be the case. Purple's not really thinking about getting an easy card grab over here. They're working on trying to grab their bonus over there. A big hit, bad dice, that's a bit rough for them. They're probably on tilt now, just going to attack out a bunch of their territories for fun. Magenta's down to 15 troops. They're actually very weak. They've got they've got eight over here, two there, and five there. That's all they have. Green patiently getting strong over there. I like that you're going to keep the white player distracted. It occurs to me I need to remember to attack this over into there and fortify that into there to protect that from getting slammed by the white player at some point. You're going to try and grab your bonus this turn. There's no world where I let you hold this. Or do I let you hold it and we play good neighbor? The problem is you might not choose to be a good neighbor to me. You've got 17 troops, I've got 28. I don't mind taking this fight with you. Three troops for us. We stack them here. We attack this over here because I want to get out of their way if it need be. I can fortify that into there later. Right now, I need to break you. I don't want you getting this bonus. I'm not going to worry about grabbing mine just yet. And then I'm going to fortify these back over onto here, I think. I could try to grab it, but then I'm pretty weak too and then purple might try and break me from behind. The white player's at 30 troops. I'm at 31, we're doing all right here. Purple's still trying to get their uh, territory up there. Great dice, lost none, taking out that three. 20 troops, 25, 12, 31, 30. Yeah, Magenta's way low on troops, but progressive could very much save them. And they're definitely gonna, gonna hold a grudge against me. I do want to see them get slowly pushed out of here, and here, if at all possible, hit that. Yes, there we go, they're even weaker. If I could see, I mean, I've got a three right there. I could eliminate them for cards pretty soon, actually. You're still trying to grab it. Unfortunately for you, that's just not something that I am actually going to allow. I take you out this turn. Don't think I want to. I'm going to hit the three, even though it's bigger, because I don't want you having a big stack next to my four over there. Um, only lost one. Fantastic. And then I fortify this out of your way, because you're going to want to try and attack that again. Now I want the attacker's bonus. The white player's got to love this. We're not being good neighbors. We're breaking each other a bunch. They get bigger and bigger. Luckily for me, green's got a big 17 stack there that's maybe a 
stays involved in things, right? You are coming this way though, which is scary. Oh, there goes that three. Well, if I'm lucky, purple or green will... I, I feel like purple's the kind of player who's going to push magenta out of there. You do have a plus five though. Maybe the white player doesn't like you having that plus five and turns their eyes on you. Or they get scared by green being on your borders. They want their bonus. Don't hit my three. You don't need that. Thank you. Three for magenta. Do you car do we see a card trade on four for magenta here? We do not. Okay. So they've got five cards. The time to take them out would be now. I could stack a bunch here. Hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this. They want a truce. I think uh, the white player's trying to signal a truce to green there. Taking you out for five cards would be good. You only have 12 troops. Plus I have to go through these four. It's actually 16. Um, I'm not sure if my seven actually gets all the way through there. I could try and hope for good dice. Seven becomes six, five, four. Ah, I'd have to have perfect dice or card trade. I mean, card trading and to take them out would be the play. Because if I get them here, we'll have to anyways, right? So uh, let's do um, this right there. Is, can, I take, can I even take them out with this? You know, I'm not sure if this even works. I'm just going to hit here. I mean, we card trade. Now we've got to take the chance, right? We card trade. We've got to take the chance. I'm not sure this works out the way I want it to. But uh, come on, good dice. Good dice. Come on, good dice. Good dice. Hit this. Hit this. Hit this. Hit this. There we go. They're gone. I get their five cards. That repairs some of my damage. Lovely. Reset this turn timer. Gives me uh, this right here. That's fine. We recover. And where are we most likely to get broken from? I don't know. I, we can't protect everything right now. We stack, I don't know, a couple over here. Uh, a couple over here, or white's closer. I'm more scared of white than anything. And then we start uh, fortifying my troops out of here into safety somewhere. Um, I don't love being next to your border like that, but I need to get my way back down here. But we did manage to get Magenta out of there. Got some pretty good dice. I've got 42 troops and four cars in my turn. Ooh, you're gonna break them? Ooh, bad neighbor. That's great. White and green are being enemies now. So both of them we focus on each other. I'll have to deal with purple, but purple only has 19 troops. I'm not crazy worried about them. Are you also going to go all the way through and... No! You've given up on holding your bonus. That's scary to me. That tells me you're at least decent at the game. You're not worrying about holding your bonus against uh, green. What you're focused on is having one mobile stack primed for eliminations. That is scary to me. You might hit my six stack on your border. No, you don't. That's great. Wasn't actually trying to be offensively near you. Just, I wanted to get my troops kind of stacked up together, right? They fortify over there, doing a little trust exercise with green on this border right there. Green trades in for 10. I'd love to hold both of these, but this is scary. This is you looking to uh, try to eliminate me or somebody. I don't want to get involved in this. Green obviously like, hey, you can give me this bonus for free. I'll take it. I mean, why not? So now green's in the stronger position than the white player. They should fortify that back right to there. I mean, there also gives them a path formation. We get eight troops is fine for us. I'm actually going to go ahead and try and hold this bonus this turn because why not? Maybe we get away with it. And I'll stack a couple here so we can uh, move our way down. Kind of sloppy right now because we had to eliminate that player. And I'm getting scared of you guys coming towards me, but we might as well try for this. Don't know if we get to hold it. And we fortify this over to here, I guess. Try and hold this. It's worth a shot. Um, the white player, they could, I don't think they can card trade me. I'm all over the board. I've got 47 troops and five cards. I mean, with good dice, they could probably limit me here. Are they going to go for me? They could hit here, 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 here. They have split here, go down through here. No, they don't go for me. They would be so weak. Like the card trades aren't big enough. They'd lose most of their troops. They'd be down to like, they would take me out. But after the card trade, they'd have like 30 troops. They'd be losing like 20 troops doing that. I definitely don't want to hit this territory over here because it freezes 26 to come this way. I'd rather this 26 have the only option to go through here behind you towards them. Don't give you an easier path towards me, right? And they're going for it. They're going to try and hold a second bonus. Do I let them hold a plus six? Yeah, that's fine. You can hold a six, a plus six to my plus eight. They fortified back down to there and pinned their troops. Probably a newer player if they pin themselves like that. Another card trade on five for us. Gives us... Do I have to trade that wild card? I do. 15 more troops. Gives us 29 to put down. That's a lot. Put a few over here. Where's my kill stack going to be? Maybe over here, I think. Make it inconvenient for them to break me. They probably will eventually, but don't make it easy for them, right? I need a card, so I'm going to hit this right here. That makes it easier for people to eliminate purple, right? Let me fortify, I guess, this three over to this over here. That way, if somebody wants to, uh, if green wants to hit over here for cards, I'd rather them hit a one than my three, right? The white player breaks green. I don't have to worry about it. Fantastic. And they fortify back away. So they either want to go for green or they want to um, path through this. I mean, this is a good spot for them. It gives them a path towards purple through this way. It gives them a path down for green. It gives them a path in through me. 
that's a great spot for them. Gives them all kinds of options. Purple star to fortify up there, but only moved one. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to card block me? Why do you have a six here and a four here? What's your play, sir? Big 20 troop trading for green. Actually, I don't mind purple being here because it kind of blocks. Are you trying to card block green? I mean, take this out, take this out. Green's pinned inside of here. Purple stack's heavy here. Yeah, I mean, they could card block green if they play their cards right. I don't want to get involved in that though. Purple's scary on my border here. So what if I were to stack this here for safety? We attack here innocently for a card. I'll leave that three there because I don't think I was going to hit that three. And I'll work on fortifying other troops for other locations. I'm so far ahead on troops right now, I don't mind having myself multiple big stacks. We can afford to split our troops. You know, it's nice to have one big kill stack, but all oh, that occurs me that three does. I just pinned my 26 back. Well, hopefully somebody clears that three or that one out for me eventually. Oh, you're eliminating purple for cards. I'm, I made a mistake. I should have been paying attention to eliminations right now. I got distracted by trying to like get my troops all in these two or three locations here. I forgot to pay attention to kills. So you're going to eliminate purple for five cards. And then the card trading from that is going to get you immediately caught up on troops with me. So that's pretty good for you. That's, you're down to what, 51 troops there? I've still got 86. You'll turn in three. So you're going to end your turn with four cards. I'm still ahead of you. But you are, like, right next to me. And you just have one big kill stack. You're going to try and take me out that kill stack? You don't have enough? Ooh, that's a mistake. You don't have enough troops to eliminate me. I need a card trade for it. You are throwing the match for both of us. I do have a card trade. Okay, that was a mistake on your part, because all you've done is enrage me against you, and you've um, made green now stronger than both of us. You went from us both having 80 and 4 cards, green having 68 and 2, um, to us both having 50-some cards, and green, our troops, and 4 cards, and now green's, the, you've just given green the lead. Can I eliminate you here for a uh, double kill? I think if the white players can play like this, we need to try to eliminate them, is all there is to it. Um... We gotta try and take you out and hope for great dice. You have shown, which uh, we lost a, probably a bit more there than I wanted to. Gotta try and take you out here. If you're just gonna throw the match and give it to green, then I'm just gonna have to try and deal with you. Oh, uh, we hit here, then here, then here. I actually can't limit you this turn, but I can feed the kill to green, who then, uh, I do, I, does this win? Does not, worth a shot. We hit here, I didn't split my troops right, I forgot about that's not, we just fed the kill to green, unfortunately. I made an oopsie there. I'll hit this here. Um, fortify this over here. I think green, green just wins this, unfortunately. Unfortunately, this is a win for green because I, 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 I messed up the kill on the white player here. And they had a card trade there. Well, I mean, if they self-destruct on me, are they going to try to limit me? If they wanted to limit me, they'd go for my 28 first, right? What are you trying to do? Trying to survive? Trying to break my, at the very least, you can break my bonuses. I forgot that white went after me, which is actually good because they card traded and we don't feed the kill to green. Um, and they've kind of messed up now where they can't. Maybe you're a new a newish player based on what you're doing. You're not going to break this in time. Green will probably break it. You're trying to you're trying to shift down to my position. Well, at least now I'm 10 troops ahead of you. Green's now very much far in the lead, but I get another chance to try to eliminate you. And you're still a juicier target to eliminate than me because you have 10 less troops than I do. And maybe go, green goes for kill and you mess it up. They've got 118, they had a card trade on three. Honestly, they go for a kill here. Hopefully they go for, they're going for me, unfortunately. They're going for me or they just wanted to path. I mean, green's got 52 trapped right there. They're not primed for great eliminations, but I think, do you want me or just want to break my bonus? I mean, if with me and white stop destructing, they, oh, they are going for kill. It looks like they're priming for a kill on me, if I had to guess. Hmm. Do I break their bonuses so they get less troops to do that kill? No, we try to be unoffensive towards them. We try to be unoffensive towards them, make the white kill easier for them, and we don't break them. We fortify... Oh, this, this 10 being trapped is a problem. We fortify that over there. We'll be pain, we, we can't do an elimination next turn, but I mean, odds are we're going to have a card trade in three. Uh, we, we do, unfortunately. I guess I should have put them there. You let the white player break green, that way green player is more inclined to try to eliminate the white player first. And if I'm lucky, you know, they mess it up and I can change something together after that. Kind of make up for my mistake. Make up for both, I mean, the white player messed up breaking me, pushing us both down below green. That was a mistake, mistake on their part. Then me failing the kill on them was also a mistake. If I, if I hadn't messed up the kill on them, I think I could have maybe gotten if I remembered. My biggest mistake was before I pinned my 28 back here like several turns before attacking a 4 into that one. That was what really cost me. Big mistake. Are you going for me or are you going for the white player? I can't tell. 
you might be going for the white player and just might be pathing. You're going for me. You're going for the elimination on me. Unlucky. Uh, I guess I have three cards. I mean, if I'm lucky, you don't get the job done in time. Oh, uh, man. Man, it feels like this match, you two have just been buddy-buddy the whole match, unfortunately. White player was... white. The white player literally gave you their bonus down here, and then swapped over here and went for me and gave you the lead. It just feels like you're working together, but you're not going for eliminations. The green player's not experienced enough to, like, go for those eliminations just yet. I have a card trade and three keeps me alive here. And now they're going for white. Oh, they just want to hold more bonuses and go for white. Let's, okay, so they're not going for me. They just want another bonus. They weren't going for the kill. We have 50 here. Can I use this to eliminate green for three cards? The thing is, if I take out you, I lose 40 cards. I gain... I don't get a card back. No, I, I can't right now. Uh, what I do is um, we keep you pinned down there is what we do. We are just going to... Uh, we're going to stack these right here. We're going to hit for a card over into here like this. Uh, don't do that. And fortify this over into here, so I'm more unappealing to attack. 11 trips for white player. And they got a card trade on three as well. They could eliminate me with this. No, wait, no. Because I, I made a point not to hit that, so they have to go out this way. I mean, I guess they could go through all of this and then get me like that, split through here. Uh, they, 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 they need good dice, but they could do it. Hopefully they go for green. They do go for green. Unless they're going around this way to get me. No, they're going for green. No, they are going for me. You and they're are they hoping to win uh, against a bigger number? No, they're breaking bonuses, and they moved over towards here because they are trying to go, go towards me. They do want me. I feel like I'm being teamed on almost. Okay, well maybe it's green is chasing white, white is chasing me, and I'm just trying to like look for the good spots. I definitely feel like the white player's been targeting me, even though green's one has been breaking them. Maybe they feel more threatened by me. Green grabs that bonus and keeps posturing towards them. I think maybe they're going for me because I'm like less spread out, easier to take out, right? I'll only have two cards. I don't think you're going to want to take me out for two cards this time. I get a single territory here and uh, we, we just chill out over here a little bit. Green is pretty actively working on breaking you. I'm already at the point where I'm kind of catching up on troops with green, which is great. Let the two of you keep breaking each other. Yeah, yeah, they, they just want to keep breaking each other. So the white player and the green player don't like each other having bonus. Maybe you move back here to protect your bonus and not... You weren't trying to posture towards me. You want to protect your bonus and you want to have the path to go towards me if I move out of your way a path this way. All right, so you're going to end your turn with four cards. But I don't have enough troops to take you out this turn, so no elimination this turn. And they like to attack a lot. The more they work on reducing your territories, the easier it is for me to actually eliminate you in the future. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Keep working on them. Pause and give yourself an option to go for me if you want to. Here's the problem. You card trade on four most likely. You get 60 troops, gives you 138. Actually, more than that. It's more than enough to take me out. You take me out next turn if I'm not careful. But my 97 is not enough to take you out all across the board, unfortunately. Um... This is not working out great for us. I don't have enough yet. I just need to keep uh, chilling out for a bit. And we just hang out and cross our fingers and hope that they don't go for us. Considering that the white player ate away 30 troops of both of us. And that uh, the white player has kind of been trailing me a bunch. Doing the best we can. But feeling that one kill is a massive blunder for us. Yes, keep breaking them, white player. That way they uh, get mad at you. And they are distracted by you. And they don't go for the kill on me, hopefully. There's the trade-in. If I was the green player, I would just eliminate me right now because, I mean, well, is it actually worth it? No, because if you take me out, they're going for the white player. Fantastic. They're going for the white player or they're going to path through this way to get me. I feel like they want to go for me to go for it. Are they going for the white player? Going to break them down here? They are. Do you split? No. Okay. The green player, I think, is very new, doesn't know how to properly time their kills, which is my saving fortune. Normally, if you fail a kill like I did earlier, normally that's a game losing uh, experience. But luckily, the green player is a little bit newer, I think. And they pan so they can't, they trap their troops, they can't eliminate. That's huge for me. I don't have a card trade on three. Um, if the white player has a card trade on three, I'm in a bit of trouble. We just keep unoffensively going for our expansion. And we just chill out, trying to lose too many troops. We have the same amount of troops as white. Um, you've got more butts because we haven't card traded yet. Need to work on kind of cleaning up your guys' uh, placements of territory so I can go for a kill at some point here. I like this. The more they aggressively attack each other, the more troops they waste of each other. Now I catch up. 
Yes. Keep breaking each other. Keep wasting each other's troops little by little by little. I catch up. I'm already ahead of uh, the white player on troops. That's fantastic. Just need to make sure they don't start getting along all of a sudden. Do I trade on four here? If I trade on four, I get 67. Gives me like 150. Here, 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 here. Here, split here. Go down through this. I could take you out, get four cards. Gives me That's a double trade. We do it. And your, your, your stuff's pinned. I need to go fast, though. We put this, like, down to here. And we gotta go quickly, quickly, quickly. Quickly against everything. We have to path this a little bit weird. Don't mess that up. Go through here. I'll worry about all this green stuff later. I need to eliminate the white player this turn. Get another card trade. And use that against green to my advantage. What I need to do... Uh, we take them out here. I think they said good game role play, but I'm time is short here, so I gotta make a move. Lost 61 to 89, that's good. And I think the extra car trade here. There we go. We finally wait for the car trades to come to our advantage. And we stack. Oh, do I try to limit you this turn? Or I just go for like 150 to take out the 130 stack. If I break your 130 stack, I probably need most of this to do it. I think that's. I don't get the double kill here. If I knew the math better, I could probably send just enough to take this 130 stack and then spread the rest of troops around, get the rest of your stuff, but. I don't know exactly how much I need to take out 130. Apparently 131. It's a job done. And we go all this. And you can make it a car you getting a car trade is a bit of a problem for me. We fortify this over to here. Over there. If you have a car trade on three, you could really drag this out. You do have a car trade on three, which actually gives you more troops than me. I need a car trade on three as well. I have one thanks to the wild card. So you need to take me out in this turn. In this single turn, you have to take out every territory I have. I have 32 territories left. Um, luckily for me, I gauge that you were kind of like a newer player. So um, hopefully you don't get it done in the 60 second turn timer or you mess up the split or you don't even realize you need to do it this turn. There's a chance that you don't uh, do it. Don't leave enough. Ah, you messed it up. You done messed up. Yeah, yeah. So good thing I went for the white player first because they seemed like possibly a better player. And the fact this guy kept hitting their kill stack down here. Also, what I could have done is just like left that like that 130 was no threat to me my next turn. I could have just cleared out the rest of the board and like, you know, try to card block you or something I'm going to play too. But luckily I have a card trade on three to recover. If I had no card trade on three and no card trade on four, they probably get the win here. This 24 can do some damage down through there. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to immediately car trade like this. Love that. We put them right here to trace your path back. And this can also do some damage down here for us and say some of the pathing the other one has to do, right? Get some damage done here. Keep going through the world. I want all of your stuff. Um, this uh, fellow's gonna come over this way. Deal with this giant monster stack right over here. Should have done 100%, but whatever. Keep cooking through here. We can path through here through this, then through this, through this, hit the enter key faster, all the way through some of this. Um, excuse my other stack, I don't think I even need it. It is there if I want it though. And there we are, you have, um, well you have two territories left. Why does he have two left? Oh, because I haven't pressed enter yet. We give you a good game and a well played, and even with my blunder, we still manage to get the win. And there it is, you'll love to see it. But I have plenty more videos you can watch too. See you next time unless you want to see the ranks. And there they are, novice, beginner, novice, and expert. We just beat an expert, fantastic. Maybe they gauged that green was beginner too and that's why they wanted to take me out as a bigger threat. But there it is, love to see it. See you next time.